Hi there, Leo. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get into a general energy read for the month of April 2024. Um, these messages may or may not resonate for you. Feel free to look at your uh, other placements and see if they kind of broaden the picture. Um, please like the video. It does help my channel grow. And if you're seeking a personal reading, go ahead and reach out to me at the altruistic mystic at gmail.com. And I will get in touch with you soon. All of that information is in the description box below. So Leo, your Oracle card energy for this month is community and it's in reverse Leo. Um, it's kind of interesting here in this reading too. So <clears throat> your approach to this month uh, well, with the community as well, it feels like you're kind of closing off to some things, Leo. It feels like you're kind of withdrawing your energy and just very much prioritizing your own experience here. I feel like we're kind of being overrun or flooded in by like other people's opinions, other people's interjections, other people's energies altogether. And it's important that you really create a fair space for yourself so that you can apply your energy in your life effectively, rather than having a bunch of like cooks in the kitchen or like too much information overload from other people. Because I feel like there's, there's, there's like a weird desire to just really kind of like not take in any other information from other people at this time. It's your time. This is feels I'm very protective of that right now. So that's what it feels like. <clears throat> um, with your approach to this month, you have the justice card here. I feel almost what I'm, what I'm hearing and seeing is something withheld. So, um, your approach at this time, there's, there, it almost feels like there's certain things that either you've you've withheld your information, your energy from that you now are starting to engage in, or maybe there's a certain side of yourself in your life right now that you've kind of not been engaging in up until this point. And to prioritize the time for that is necessary here. Um, I feel your approach is to be very fair with yourself. Also too, to be fair with others, but fairness sometimes requires bluntness. It requires, uh, especially here with this community in reverse, it requires us to cut ourselves off from people a bit so that we can have that time to absorb our own energy, process things and transmute. Um, it doesn't mean that you're selfish. Sometimes selfishness is very healthy and we need to find some balance with that because here it's almost as if like we are needing to prioritize our own energy and not be infiltrated by other people or, or bothered by other people when it comes to how they see our life should be going or how they feel like they should interject and give their opinion when it's not really necessary or wanted. Rather than creating problems with a person and getting into fights, you're just kind of feeling like it's you're in the mode of, no, this is where I stop the conversation. This is where I pull myself back. That's fair to me, and I'm what matters right now. That's what I feel, Libra. Leo. <clears throat> Sorry. Could be dealing with a Libra. This is a justice card. <clears throat> For your communications, you have the Knight of Pentacles here, which in this deck is the King of Pentacles. Um, your direction here, as far as communication is concerned, I feel that... Yeah, I don't necessarily feel like you are going to be communicating this. I feel like you're actively doing things in your own life right now that people will eventually recognize or that people will come to understand, bring change into your life. You're per perfecting your pursuits. You're perfecting your position in your job, your life, your energy. Um, you're nourishing and reframing your experience right now. This feels like an overhaul, Leo. Um, but either way, whatever this communication is, especially when it comes to family, you're dealing with fairness for yourself because in the end, it does help the family grow. It does solidify situations and, um, you know, stability for the family, whether that be your extended family parents, uh, if you are married and have children, it, there's, there's a necessity to pull back and focus on ourselves before we can actually be that flowing cup for others. Okay. Either way though, um, I feel that you're very strong in your resolution with this energy. You're, res you're very resolute on putting your efforts towards yourself at this time. And I feel you're going to be very vocal about that. 
because it's stabilizing you in a way that maybe you haven't experienced as of late or you need to experience and prioritize your energy. When it comes to your health, you have the tower. Now, <clears throat> for some of you, this may be a situation where things are drastically changing, okay? Um, you have here in this picture too, it looks like New York, because the, the, what's her name? The one with the, not the Eiffel Tower, the, um, the French broader, didn't they? It's the Wheel of, <laughs> not the Wheel of Fortune, it's the Lady Liberty. What's her name? The Lady Liberty? Statue of Liberty. She's underwater. Here's her little flame, you know, her little wand or her, uh, you know, her flame being held up under the water. It's exposed here. Um, we're not allowing whatever has happened. I feel almost that this is kind of like a self, uh, a self-directed tower moment, to be honest, Leo. Um, Things may have been very, very difficult in your life and you realize the necessity to overhaul. You realize that there is a necessity to change everything so that you can have a completely different alternative. This is a complete change in how you approach things. Toulouse, please sit down. Um, so... Yeah, there's a big shift here. I don't feel that this is horrible information or like a horrible thing coming to you, Leo. I feel that this is you initiating something where it's like there's a lot of deep emotions that are being kind of dealt with right now in how you go about changing something here. It's It feels, if anything, it feels uncomfortable in how to restructure something because you're doing an entire overhaul with the tower. It's shutting everything down, breaking everything down so that you can rebuild a completely different self, a completely different emotional body, a completely different way to deal with certain things that you may have been dealing with that have been negative for your health in the past. This is shaking it off and recreating it from the ground up. There's no mincing words about that. And <clears throat> here with that, the little flame, the torch, <sighs> What was once, it, it's like we need to reemerge, but we need to emerge with solidity, with solid energy. The, 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 what is it? The Statue of Liberty is very solid. Here, she's underwater. Water, emotions, okay? So we have to come out from that emotional space so we can stand tall again. Our, our light is not extinguished, but we are using it as a guiding factor so that we can come out of what we've been in. This is very, very, I feel big for a lot of Leos right now. You guys are like really changing things to, uh, <laughs> who's here, prove yourself wrong. I don't know what that means. So changing things to prove yourself wrong or changing the dynamic in your life so that you can prove yourself that there are better things and you can achieve different things in completely different ways. When it comes to your work, you have the eight of pentacles here. And this is, card is called prudence. Um, this is one of dedication, especially when it comes to your job, comes to your craft. And also here too, this I feel for a lot of you, Leos, this ties in with this king of pentacles energy and how you communicate and convey yourself to others. Even if you're not verbally speaking to them, it's like they see you being dedicated to your craft, to your work, to your experience, because it fortifies your life. It puts you first. You prioritize yourself. And again, this is getting away from the community of it. This is getting away from people who take your time, who, who put too much emphasis on what you should and shouldn't do. It's not their life. It's your life. Here, you're perfecting your craft. Here, you are working diligently and hard, and you will take the amount of time that you feel is necessary to do that. It's about you being the one to very clearly state when you emerge, when you integrate, how much you integrate, and also from this point on, how much you integrate with other people on the whole. Some people have, mm, some people have um, been in your life and they've been given like carte blanche to just kind of like dump on you. Here, it's like, no, that doesn't happen anymore. I am solidifying my resolve in how I am spoken to and approached. You do not get to do that. You do not. It's, it's almost like a very powerful taking back of your energy, Leo. And I love this. Um, yeah. And, and you choose the time on how and how much time you integrate with others. It's very interesting energy, very powerful, very direct. Um, when it comes to your work, though, too, 
This is also being seen as somebody who provides a very specific thing and does it so well. You are very much appreciated for your craft, your energy, your diligence, and your excellence. And I feel that that is something that really um, stokes your own fires too. And it aligns you with how and what your purpose is, like which direction that takes you. So very beautiful energy. And that also helps with this emotional tower energy. When it comes to love and connections here, Leo, you have the Three of Cups. This is very nice. Um, it's interesting, though, for those of you who are in connections already or marriages already, this is asking you to maybe pull back from the communities you've been in, maybe pull back from the energies that you've experienced with other people and maybe how they infiltrate your connection with your partner. Um, whether that be through influence, whether that be through, oh, it feels like influence. Um, you know, if there's bad influences, especially when it comes to like drinking or partying too much, maybe this is where we have to be very clear in how we pull back our energy because it's become toxic for us and we just have to do an overhaul. Um, just because it's April doesn't mean that you can't do your New Year's resolutions now. I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions because I always think they just kind of like flop. But if you feel solid in it and it's the one change you want to make, chip away at it. That's not going to hurt you. Keep going at it. And even if you fail, quote unquote, fail, or if it doesn't match up to what you want, keep working at it. Um, within partnerships, though, too, like this may also be time for you and your partner to be very much um, dating again. You know, maybe we need to realign ourselves with one another. Maybe we need to change the dynamic on an emotional level when it comes to how we approach each other and what we've built thus far. Sometimes relationships need an overhaul entirely. Sometimes that requires us to be very clear and frank about certain things for the, the health of a relationship to be solid here. And this is, this energy is the communication of bringing solidity. It's, it's stabilizing things because we love a person because we love our partnership and we want longevity and growth. For those of you who are single, some of you may be connecting to people through your work or through a passion of yours that you may be involved in. Um, for some of you also too, you may get a date or you may connect with somebody that is not within your community. So this is somebody that might be from <clears throat> a different walk of life, a foreign uh, association, um, somebody who's of a different religion or race or gender or whatever it may be, it feels like you are being open to the potential of something different that you're not used to. And some of you may also have to kind of reconcile with how that affects your community at large. You know, does dating this person cause issues for people? And if it does, screw it. This is your decision. Again, there's a lot of energy here, Leo, in this reading where we're really just kind of focusing on what makes us happy and we're cutting away the fat. We're trimming the fat from people who interject, impose their their direction, their, their belief system on us. It's like we're very much about, no, this is what I believe. This is the direction I'm going in and, you know, kiss my butt. And that's, that's what it is. Nicely. Kiss my butt nicely. Um, so, oh, um, but yeah, <clears throat> for those of you who are single, go out and date. Go out and date. Just, you might, you might be pleasantly surprised that you find somebody that is not the norm from what you usually know. Or maybe it's not even the norm for your typical type of person. But try it anyway, because it feels like that, that, that... It cuts away the blinders of what is supposed to be and gets to the heart of which that is, what what is. Um, and those are feelings and potential feelings that could grow into something very beautiful. So enjoy. I hope this is helpful for you, Leo. Take care. Bye.